this episode, we tell you how defense is improving equipment maintenance, what's next for the new defense policy, and a requirement is identified to deploy CAF personnel. Welcome back to Defense Team News. I'm Captain Shalico Smith. And I'm Jill Klassen. Here's what's going on in defense for the week of August the 1st. A collaborative initiative aimed at improving support programs for equipment was recently launched. The sustainment initiative between National Defense, Public Services and Procurement Canada, and Innovation, Science and Economic Development Canada will move away from a one-size-fits-all model of sustaining equipment towards more tailored, innovative solutions that will lead to better value and longevity for CAF equipment. Here's Andre Filion who spoke during the announcement. We have a duty to evolve. This is a complex business. Things are shifting around us. Uh, and it's big business. It's two and a half billion a year uh, that we're spending on sustaining equipment. We have a duty to make sure that we're doing it the best we can. The consultation phase for the Defence Policy Review is now complete. During this phase, eight roundtable meetings were held across Canada, over 13,000 Defence Policy Review e-workbook submissions were received, and over 4,700 participants contributed comments and votes through the online discussion forum. A report on these findings highlighting the trends and issues will be produced, and then will be used to inform the creation of the new Defence Policy, which is expected to be released early in 2017. Thank you to everyone who participated. Occasionally, a requirement is identified to deploy CAF members with proficiency in languages other than French and English for various operations. For example, a request was recently received to deploy military observers for a UN mission requiring fluency in Spanish. All CAF personnel that have proficiency in languages other than French and English are now requested to immediately update and indicate these abilities in their HRMS profile and inform their respective chains of command. Those with language abilities beyond French and English are asked to break down and indicate the proficiency in listening, speaking, reading, and writing. CAF members are also asked to note any formal foreign language testing that they've done. Well, that's it for us. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time for Defense Team News.